Hello everyone, I am Virginia Brancato, researcher at Tribis Research Group of the University of Minho and I am a member of IPASSIA, the association of the Italian researcher in Portugal. In this short video, I'll take you around the world of the serological test for the new coronavirus. It's time to come back to our life and after the coronavirus CV outbreak. So there is an urgent need of fabricate reliable and fast tests to detect positive people to the SARS-CoV-2. The landscape of diagnostic tests for severe acute respiratory syndrome due to coronavirus is still evolving and the efficacy is still under debate. In the last weeks, we heard a lot about the serological tests, but what they are and how they work. In this short pill of Ipasia, I'll focus on serological tests based on IgM and IgG detection. The rapid tests are based on the principle of lateral flow immunoassay chromatography and are available in cassette form. The test is based on the separation of the component using capillary force and the specific and rapid binding of IgM and IgG antibodies to its antigen. Behind this technical name, there is a simple idea. When our body is in contact with external agents such as coronavirus, react. In our body is the B lymphocyte that produce antibodies when they enter in contact with the foreigner's body. In a time frame of one week from the infection, our immune system reacts producing immunoglobulin M, our IgM antibody. IgM in the blood means that there is an infection ongoing. The B lymphocyte starts also to produce immunoglobulin G or IgG. IgG are more more very specific for the virus and are also able to neutralize it. The B cells maintain the memory of the meeting with the virus, so in case of a second interaction they rapidly proliferate and produce again IgG able to detect and neutralize the virus. One issue still under debate is if the asymptomatic COVID-19 infected people are contagious and if they will develop neutralizing antibodies. In the clinical practice, doctors see that IgM appear between the first week after the viral infection and then they disappear. In the meantime, IgG appear and remain in the blood longer. The rapid tests are lateral flow chromatographic immunoassays, which can detect antibodies against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The test cassette consists in one pad containing SARS-CoV-2 recombinant antigens. S or N protein, a nitrocellulose membrane strips containing an IgG line and then an IgM line and the control cell line. So the serological tests reveal the presence of a specific antibody and so if we are exposed to the virus in the last few weeks by mean and indirect methods. The serological tests measure the presence of the antibody against the SARS-CoV-2 in the blood serum. In the commercial serological tests, the blood serum is in contact with an antigen that is mainly the S1 subunit of the spike protein of the coronavirus. Now, let's talk about the reliability of serological tests and which are the parameters that count. We mean sensitivity and specificity. For sensitivity, we indicate the ratio between the true positive and the total of people test that have the antibody, the true positive plus the false negative, like people that have the antibodies, but they are not detective as positive by the serological test. The higher is the sensitivity, the lower is the risk to underestimate the number of people that have developed the antibody against the virus. Sensitivity is expressed as percentage. For example, an 85% sensitive test means that it will detect as positive 85 people in a group of 100 people already declared positive, giving 15 false, positive, false negative. Specific specificity is the ratio between the true negative and the total of people without the antibody in a group. The higher is the specificity, the lower is the possibility of considering as positive people that do not have developed the antibody. Probably, at this stage, serological tests should only be used to determine the proportion of a population that was previously infected with SARS-CoV-2, 
in order to help the epidemiologists to study the demographic and geographic distribution of the virus. This study will shed light on the grade of herd immunity reached by a certain community. Less accurate is the use of this serological test to determine if an individual is immune. Serological diagnosis is especially important for patients with mild and or moderate illness, and this serological diagnosis also is becoming an important tool to understand the extent of COVID-19 in the community and to identify the individuals who are already immune and potentially protected from becoming infected again. We do not know how long this immune response confers protection in terms of new infection, so we cannot talk about immunity passport. It's also important to have a rapid and cheap point-of-care test for the detection of antibodies. This approach also helps the virus diagnosis in the poorest country that have no access to the expensive reagent for RT-PCR-based tests. I hope you enjoyed the journey in the serological test world. Follow Vipassia's pages on social media and stay tuned for the next Vipassia Pills.